All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Today I'm gonna walk through how I clean the 25 Auto Galassi Bracia. So the first step that I'm going to do is make sure that the weapon is clear. So I'm gonna push this magazine release at the bottom, pull the magazine out and double check, nothing in the chamber and we are good to go. Tools you're gonna need for this job. You're gonna need a cleaning cloth something that's going to absorb a little oil, not that's going to soak it all up that you can't get any on the gun, but something that's going to remove the residue and the carbon, be able to give you a good cleaning. I cut cloths out of t-shirts is usually the way I do it. And you're also going to need some smaller pieces of cloth to run down the bore to clean the bore out. The bore is your barrel. So normally what I do is I take a t-shirt, and I cut patches out of it to size, and it takes a little trial and error to get it small enough, but we'll get into that later. You're gonna need some sort of solvent. Uh, I have a variety here. You can use oil. I've got a spray oil I use, and I really like these things, Remington Rim Oil Wipes. You don't have to have anything fancy, though. Uh, this stuff I use on my fishing rods, and you can also use it on firearms. When you're cleaning this gun, I would not recommend using WD-40. I know on the back it says, that it can be used on firearms, but I wouldn't recommend it. There's enough gun cleaning products and gun oil products out there that you can avoid using this. It is designed as a penetrating oil as well, which means that parts can come out easily. So I've never seen a gun fall apart or anything like that, but just in my own personal opinion, I would use something else. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to remove these grip screws. You have to be really careful. Grip screws can really be messed up depending on the kind of screwdriver that you use. So I have a very small screwdriver and I'll place, you wanna make sure that it fits well and I'll place a cloth. If I have a large one, I'll place a cloth in there as a barrier to get the screws out. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors to cut the cleaning cloth with. You're gonna to wanna to get a toothbrush just to knock some dust and rust off the gun. Not one that you use from your bathroom. You're gonna to wanna to get a cleaning rod of some sort. Now, I'm going to say this. I have some that I use on my rifle that will fit down the bore, the barrel. I've seen people use a coat hanger. I don't know that I'd recommend that. There's probably varying opinions about that. I would go ahead and spend the $5 or $10 at Walmart or something and get a good pistol cleaning kit. Make sure that it'll fit a 22 or a 25 caliber weapon. Optional, I would say a good firearms grease and I say that with an asterisk. I've learned since I've had this gun that it requires a little bit of lube to operate properly. And for me, I already have an M1 Garand, so I have grease on hand, so that's what I use for mine. You could probably get away with just using some oil inside the slide. Let's go ahead and disassemble it, and then we will start cleaning. We've already cleared it, made sure there was no ammo inside the weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and disassemble. slide your slide spring now your trigger bar it kind of falls out and as far as the frame we're going to take the grips off and that's about all I do again you want to make sure that when you're taking these grip screws out that you have a screwdriver that fits very well because it wiggles around or causes too much resistance you can really booger these screws up and there are sources out there to get new ones but they can be hard to come by, so just be careful while you're doing that. With my Walter PPK, I usually lay a rag down or something over the screws so I don't mess them up. This gun was inherited, so I try to keep it in the best shape that I can. Parts are somewhat hard to come by. Sometimes you can find them, sometimes you can't. So in your slide, you're gonna take your firing pin, firing pin spring, and that plunger in the back and take it out. And we're gonna set all that aside. Your firing pin, take it off the spring. Of course, my spring has a kink in it. I haven't researched to get another one of those. I probably should. Okay, so now that we've got everything broken down, I'm gonna take these screws and the grips because I'm not really gonna clean those too much. I'm not sure they don't roll away or disappear. So the first thing we're gonna do is take your lubricant and I'm just gonna use the most simple one in a little bottle. 
Normally what I do is just take the spray and hose the whole thing down. Maybe take a wipe and wipe it down. These wipes are pretty good. You can actually run them down the bore as well. So just put a little oil on your cloth. Give it a good wipe down. Wipe the frame down. Wipe your chamber out. I haven't fired this thing recently, so it should be pretty clean. It's not a bad idea. Just keep a light coat of oil. I wouldn't keep too much oil in this thing. Wipe your chamber down. In my, my opinion, the barrel and the chamber are probably the most dirty parts of this gun, depending on the ammo you shoot, of course. Now, I'm using a red rag. If you use a white rag or a lighter colored, you can really see the, uh, the carbon come off and the, the powder residue. Take your toothbrush, depending on the environment that you're shooting in. If you're in a very dusty or dirty location, if you've got sand or something on it, without west or you're in a dry environment you can take a toothbrush and just kind of brush the dirt off of there for me i'm going to use the same screwdriver that i had when you're cleaning this slide it's really difficult to get anything down in there other than a rag or maybe some q-tips you can use q-tips and run this way down the slide to get the uh, residue and carbon out of there but i also take whatever tool I'm using, take it and just wipe in the recesses and the grooves and the slide. And that should, that's a little bit right there, that should do a pretty good job. And depending on the range you've been at, how many rounds you've fired, you might spend 30 minutes doing this or you might spend a couple of hours. the same time you're cleaning you're also fighting corrosion that's the reason they call it CLP cleaner lubricant and protectant take your spring and run it through your rag as you're holding it like that this one's a little more difficult you can't really do it that way just wipe it down a little bit again this weapon has been cleaned recently or not fired recently it's it's not been fired recently so it's it's fairly clean and this isn't the tedious part of this is coming up next this is a bore light mine's dead but what you do is just a pin light and it has a little attachment on the front you can stick it in your barrel and turn it on and look down in there as you're cleaning it to see exactly how dirty it is it'll go either way you can look from the chamber down the barrel or however and you can look and see how dirty it actually is or how much how much attention it needs so for the tedious part of this, and this usually takes quite a while, take your scissors, my first grade scissors I have here, and you can cut your own cleaning cloths. This barrel is so short, you could almost do it with Q-tips. Let me actually try that in a minute. Um, take your patches and run it down your barrel, and I usually run, this one's a little bit big, let's cut it in half. I usually run just as many backwards down the barrel as I do the other way which is the way the round comes out and you can push those down through the barrel and it just swabs the barrel and cleans the lands and grooves I still cut that one kind of big so just like that and then you can look at it and see how dirty it is until the until the patches come out clean I think is the generic term that most gun enthusiasts use you want to be careful about what kind of metal you put in there. You don't want to mar your bore up too much. If you've got a gun that you really try to shoot accurately and you care a lot about, you don't want to scratch the barrel up too much, especially when you go to a resale, because you might wind up at a gun show with a guy that has a bore light, and he's looking at it, and he says, well, your bore's all scratched up. Totally optional. I've got a couple of Q-tips here. This seems to be pretty popular with the older generation of firearms owners. Now you can buy just about anything you want. Most younger guys, they just buy a cleaning kit that has whatever you need in it but if you're not really vested in firearms or maybe you've got a piece that you've this piece you've inherited or it's just you know the only gun you have or something like that you don't want to put a lot of money into it this is definitely the poor man's way to go or woman i guess 
and that's okay too. Take your Q-tips and believe me, if this thing had just been fired, this Q-tip would come out black. And this is one of a few, very few firearms you can actually do this to. Most guns I have have a pretty long barrel, so you're not gonna be able to do this. It seems to fit pretty good. It doesn't fit snug, but you can get in there and swab it down. If nothing else, you can check your progress and see how well the patches are doing. Get up a little bit there. And then what I was saying with the slide, you take your slide and where your firing pin goes, you can stick it all the way down in there and actually get to the where the firing pin protrudes in the end there and get it wiped down. Some folks will complain that these using the cotton swab will leave fuzzy strings all over the gun. I have another video up about these things and that was another complaint that a couple of folks had commented on that they leave fuzzy things all over the gun too. Just take a rag and wipe it down. Especially if you've got a gun like this, it's not really finely machined. It's got a lot of sharp edges. You take a Q-tip and run it in there and clean it real good. And again, this may take, you know, if, if you've just picked this gun up from an unknown source or maybe you've inherited it or bought it from somebody that had it in a sock drawer, you never know what you're going to get. So it may take you a while to do this. I've spent several hours cleaning guns. Do the best you can. You want to make sure that you assemble everything correctly and make sure that it fires in, in a safe and proper manner. Putting some lube on the gun. This all-weather high-tech grease it's got a pretty good temperature range on it for firearms so I got this at Academy Sports and Outdoors there's several different varieties this is outers choke tube and gun grease I got from Walmart it looks exactly the way you'd think grease would look it's kind of brownish I don't have a preference on either one that I use I just this one's a little easier because it comes in an applicator and so all I'll do this part a q-tip does come in handy you don't want to put grease or lube on anything that the ammo touches so I stay away I stay away from the chamber so I keep the grease kind of back here on this side where all the the slide makes contact the thing about using a syringe like this is if you put too much pressure a little too much grease will come out I can see a little bit there and I just take my q-tip and kind of Wipe it down a little bit so the whole thing gets some get some lube on the edges of the slide. And I'll take a little bit of that. And another thing I like about this is it is red, so it, it generally shows up. This is with this dark finish on this firearm, it's not as apparent, but on some of my other ones you can you can really see that red and you can definitely see it on what you're appli applying it with. Put a little bit of lube in there. Make sure it moves freely. Any hang ups. Again, you could probably do this with just a light coat of oil, but I feel a little more comfortable. Again, because I use it in my M1 Grand and my M1A. I usually don't disassemble the magazine, I just take it and give it a good wipe down, make sure there's no dirt, fall or moves freely, and all that sort of thing. Wipe it down with my oily rag. If you get a little too much oil, you feel like you got too much oil on it, you can always just wipe it down with this and then get another dry rag and wipe that down as well. So let's go ahead and get it back together, wipe some excess grease. I wanna make sure my grips don't move around too much. I'll put our trigger bar in here. Put our trigger bar in there. Firing pin on the spring. And the bottom of the firing pin has a little tab. It slides right back into the main groove, into the slide. It only goes in there one way. Put your slide spring back on the barrel. Push it into the slide just like that. I have a disassembly video up, so if this goes a little fast for you, you can always check that one out. Make sure it sits in there. This rear assembly, I can't escaping me what the name of it is push the slide back and move your safety back into position and that assembly in the back needs to be flush before the 
safety will move. Take your grips, grip screws, screwdriver. Put those back in. Quick functions check, off safe, or rack it. Feels pretty smooth, everything, the trig trigger pulls and fires. You don't want to put too much stress on that little firing pin because it also acts as the ejector, as I've learned since I've had this gun. So the gun's ready for one final wipe down and you are good to go. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming by and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.